Revolutionary Arctic University of Norway Discovery, Oral Insulin for Type 1 Diabetics. Guys, there is a lot of exciting news to cover here, so stick with us to the end. There are approximately 425 million people worldwide with diabetes. Approximately 75 million of these inject themselves with insulin daily. Now they may soon have a new alternative to syringes or insulin pumps. Researchers at the university have developed an oral insulin medication that could potentially eliminate the need for painful and inconvenient syringe injections. According to Arctic University, scientists have found a new way to supply the body with smart insulin. The new insulin can be eaten by taking a capsule or even better, within a piece of chocolate. Inside these, we find tiny nanocarriers to which the insulin is encapsulated. The particles are one ten-thousandth the width of a human hair and so small that you cannot even see them under a normal microscope. A nanocarrier is simply nanomaterial used as a transport module to transport a substance like a drug. This way of taking insulin is more precise because it delivers the insulin rapidly to the areas of the body that need it most. When you take insulin with a syringe, it is spread throughout the body where it can cause unwanted side effects, explains Professor Peter McCord at UIT Norway's Arctic University. He is one of the researchers behind the study. It was researchers at the University of Sydney and Sydney Local Health District who, in collaboration with UIT, discovered many years ago that it was possible to deliver medicines via nanocarriers to the liver. McCord explains that the problem with insulin with a nanocarrier is that it breaks down in the stomach and thus does not get to where it is needed in the body. This has been a major challenge in developing a diabetes medicine that can be taken orally, but now the researchers have solved this challenge. We have created a coating to protect the insulin from being broken down by stomach acid and digestive enzymes on its way through the digestive system, keeping it safe until it reaches its destination, namely the liver, says McCourt, who is a liver biologist. The coating is then broken down in the liver by active enzymes only when the blood glucose levels are high, releasing the insulin where it can then act in the liver, muscle, and fat to remove glucose from the blood. The sequencing of this process exactly mimics the process of insulin delivery from the pancreas to the liver and avoids hypoglycemia or low blood sugar events that can be life-threatening for type 1 diabetics. The implications of this discovery and process can be life-changing for all type 1 diabetics. If all the assumptions of this process pan out, taking insulin would be no different than taking a daily vitamin. Now let's look at the next steps. Would you do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons in support of our channel? We appreciate your help. So, where do we go from here? So far this oral insulin was tested on diabetic mice and rats. Currently, 20 baboons are being tested. Thus far, the results in lowering blood sugar have shown good results with little to no side effects including hypoglycemia. Are you getting excited yet, because there is more good news? Trials on humans will start in 2025 led by the spin-out company Endoaxiom Proprietary Limited Clinical Trials are performed in three phases, in the phase 1 trial we will investigate the safety of the oral insulin and critically look at the incidence of hypoglycemia in healthy and type 1 diabetic patients. The researchers hope that the new medicine can be ready for use by everyone in 2 to 3 years. I want to give a shout out to the subscriber at VSQD3TZ who brought this to my attention recently. I hope you enjoyed this news as much as I did. I realize many of our subscribers and viewers want a definitive answer and a date when there will be a cure. Nobody can estimate the cure date, but with as many people working on this issue around the world as there are, I'm confident there will be more good news in the next few years. In the meantime, let's be excited for options that are potentially around the corner that will make life easier and hopefully eliminate taking daily injections. Thanks for watching. Look for another exciting video coming soon. Bye for now.